He says, I feel sorry for any student you actually taught. Dragon says he didn't pass his certification. What certification were you preparing for that you didn't pass? Mr. Dragon James, what certification was that? Dragon James says he didn't pass his IT fundamentals. Sorry to hear that. Listen, don't beat yourself up over that. If you didn't pass your IT certification, welcome to the club. There are plenty of people who have failed IT certs prior to them going on to successfully pass them a second or third time around. So it was just a matter of how serious are you, which I imagine you are, about getting this certification. And if this is something that you really want to add to your portfolio of accomplishments, then you know you got to do what you got to do to prepare and study for it. I can give you guys the standard cliche answers, or I can give you my standard default answer. And I posted a screenshot on my community tab a couple days ago of a dude who, uh, matter of fact, let's go pull that screenshot up real quick so I can show y'all what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Somebody had left this comment to me a couple days ago. I had posted a little YouTube short of a video I recorded like a year ago talking about why people don't fail IT certs. And the whole gist of the video is because people don't study which is true. But uh, old buddy left this comment. He said, <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny. He says, I feel sorry for any student you actually taught. Then he goes, study. So, oh, great one. Is water wet? Does fire burn? Do birds fly? Was your nickname Sergeant Obvious? And I said, you must have failed because you didn't study. So let me just explain to you guys how this thing works in case you guys are unfamiliar. Here's, here's how this works when it comes to people successfully passing certifications, right? Let's just say you have 100 people who want to go sit down and prepare to take a certification through taking a course and then going to take the certification. Out of those 100 people, you're probably only going to have about maybe five people who actually go through the entire course, learn everything that they got to learn, and succeed successfully go and pass that test on the first time go or a second time go. You're probably going to have about five people who can do that. And when I say successfully put themselves through a course, I'm talking about they put themselves on a training schedule, study schedule. They're like, hey, these are the days and times I got to get it in because I have to pass this test so that I can get certified, go get a job, get a promotion, keep my job, whatever the whatever it is that they're trying to get. So you only have about maybe five people that can actually do that. Then you have another five people. These five people, they'll be dead serious. They'll go through the entire course, put themselves on a training schedule, on a study schedule. They'll do everything that Tech G tells you all to do. But what happens with these next five people? These next five people, they never go take the test. They'll go through the entire course, do very well. But when it's time to actually take the test, they develop test anxiety or they come up with all all types of ways to psych themselves out from taking the test and they just never actually get around to taking the test that's the next five people right then that leaves us about 90 people left so out of those 90 remaining people you'll have about 45 of those people they'll get online talk about yes i want to get into it i want to learn this i want to learn that and then guess what happens with those 45 people They'll look at the course material and then they'll tap out. They'll be like, nah, I think I'm good. That looks like a little too much for me. I'm not that interested in IT like I thought I was. And then that leaves our last group of 45 people. So what happens with these 45 people? These 45 people, they'll be like, yes, I want to get into IT. And guess what? They'll start going through the process of learning the information. But here's where these people get hung up. They always start and stop, start and stop, start and stop so much that they never develop a consistent rhythm or battle rhythm, as we would call it when I was in the military, of going through the process of trying to learn this stuff. You know, something would come up life activities would happen, procrastination kicks in, they would just never be consistent. And then by the time they do have to start over from scratch, by the time they do decide to get back engaged with it, I should say, it's almost like they have to start over from scratch. That's what typically tends to happen based off of what I've seen when it comes to educating and training people to get certified in tech. Like I say, I'll recap about out of a hundred people, 
You'll have about 45 that'll be excited about tech. Then they'll look at the training objectives. They'll look at the cost of the training materials, and then they'll back away and get scared because they either can't afford it or they don't want to afford it or whatever the case may be. They just don't want to do it. Then you have another 45 or so. They'll start the training, go through it, but then they'll stop, take about two, three weeks off, two months off. Then all of a sudden, by the time they decide to pick it back up, they got to start back all over. And they keep going through this process over and over and over. Then that leaves us about 10 people. Out of the remaining 10 people, you have five people that'll go through the entire course but they will never go take the test. They're terrified of taking the exam for a variety of reasons. And then you have five people. They'll go through the entire course material and they'll go in there and take that test like a boss and pass. So that's what typically tends to happen. Now, my man's here, Dragon James. It's up to you to decide which group you're going to be in. So far, it sounds like you're in the top 5% of those who go through a course and pass the materials. And even out of those 5% that go through and take the test, not everybody is guaranteed to pass on the first time go. Some people will take an L, but if they want it bad enough, they will go back, recertify or retrain, go out there, take the test again and recertify. Because here's the thing. Let's just say it takes you, let's just say you go through, you really want this IT fundamental certification. You, you want it because you're life depends upon it, right? Let's just say it takes you three or four times to pass this test. And each certification or each voucher, testing voucher, I want to say they cost a hundred something bucks a pop if I'm not mistaken. So let's just say you spent the grand total of $500 on ITF vouchers to go take the test and you finally get ITF certified. Well, here's what's going to happen. As soon as you get your first IT job, within your first two or three paychecks, you're more than likely going to make all your money back. Right. Because at the end of the day, the cost of a lot of these certifications is still way cheaper than that of getting a four year degree from college. You will more than likely make your money back, assuming that this is something that you really want to get and that you end up landing a job. You're going to make your money. It will be an investment that will produce uh, an ROI, a return on investment for you. But it's just up to you to decide, you know, how bad you want to get it and all that stuff. But if that's something that you want to add to your to your skill sets, then do everything that you got to do to get certified. As you know, I do have a free 10 hour course posted on YouTube for that. And if you feel like that's not enough, you can always go visit the world's greatest website called Technology G, where I offer study materials. And in my little ITF, let's click on it real quick. My little ITF course over here, let me make my screen bigger. You get notes, labs, questions galore, all types of little goodies, man. And then you can add yourself to the to the wall of fame over here of people who have used this stuff to successfully pass the CompTIA IT fundamental certification. So if you can't get there yourself, Tech G will help you get there. All right. So shout out to my man Dragon James in the building.